As the universe expanded following the Big Bang, logic dictated that the gravitational attraction of all matter should pull at that expanding material and cause the expansion to slow. But how much was the universe slowing down? In the 1990s, the Hubble Space Telescope made it possible for teams of scientists to answer the question by studying the brightness of light from a special type of exploding star called a Type 1a supernova. I paid a visit to the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory in San Francisco and met with astrophysicist Saul Perlmutter, who headed up the Supernova Cosmology Project. So what did you find out? So we started to make a measurement to try to find out how much the universe in its expansion is slowing down. When we first saw the data, you, you say, well, that's, that's kind of funny. It kind of looks as if the universe isn't, uh, isn't slowing down. Um, but you assume, well, but you know, we're also right in the midst of doing all these checks and, and calibrations and confirmations. And I'm sure once we um, get all the numbers you know, uh, checked out and figured out that the effect will go away, change there's, of sign somewhere that yeah, we'll have to fix. There's a minus sign. Yeah, right. Be, you know, you're saying yeah. as trivial as that. You check each step of the, of the process. And little by little, um, you get to the point where you start realizing, you know, this effect isn't going away. This is the right answer. It really looks like the universe is actually speeding up. So why is this so important? This is one of the first times that we've come across something that we wouldn't have predicted. Now we're having the fun of trying to figure out what does this all mean. And, and if you come with me, I'll show you a little bit about what we're doing about it. Why is it accelerating? Well, that's the question that has us all dying to know the answer. And I mean, one way to think about it is that if you have a energy of this odd sort that would pervade all of space, it can actually speed up the universe when gravity is trying to slow it down. And we're calling that dark energy just to reflect the fact that we don't know what it is. It's a mystery. It's completely mysterious. Bizarre. We have no idea what it is. We want to do studies to figure out what could dark energy be like. What we want to do now is get data that will help pull apart the different answers. So where are you going to get that data? The big picture goal that we're after is a project that uh, you see around you here, um, which is a satellite project. The uh, design that we have here we've called SNAP, which is short for Supernova Acceleration Probe. This would be a new space telescope with a very, very big field of view. So instead of looking through a little keyhole at the universe, you'd be looking through a good picture window at the universe. So let me show you what we're working on that we think might help us get at why the universe is accelerating, what this dark energy really is. Here we have SNAP that we're hoping to be able to launch not to distant future. This one goes out to a, uh, a location out past the moon. From that vantage point, you can measure the expansion history with such detail that we could actually see the little changes when it goes from deceleration to acceleration. Back when the universe was really dense and, uh -huh. and, and uh, close together, gravity was more important and it slowed the expansion down. As it ex kept expanding, though, even slower and slower, it lost out, and gravity became less important than the dark uh -huh. energy, which took over and started to accelerate the expansion. Mm -hmm. And we're after exactly how that changeover occurred, and that will tell us about what different possible theories could be right to explain the dark energy. Always expanding, but exactly. slowly then speeding up. Exactly. And so that's it, where we are now. Exactly. So it's, it's this issue of... Did it, did it slow down and then suddenly spur it, or did it slow down and, you know, and come to a wobble and then take off? Um, you know, what was the, that transition like?